hi I'm just on my way out to Cottage Point to go and see a customer about a house sit there so that's a really nice suburb in Kuringa Chase National Park it's a really lovely area so I thought I'd take the camera along and show you what it looks like uh, it's just started raining so it's not the best day for showing what it looks like but never mind the house sits the end of January so I won't be there for another month um, it's weird I've done a house sit there a few times before in Cottage Point and I looked on the map and there the house I used to have it's just like directly behind the one I'm at so that one was on the water and this one is kind of just up the hill behind it so that's weird but I'm gonna go and do that now and then feed a couple of cats on the way home my crazy Christmas schedule has started with visiting all the animals so right let's go just pulled over at a little lookout on the way we're almost in Cottage Point now um, I'll just show you the view This is on the other side of the road. It's pretty, isn't it? Right, I'd better get on over to the meet and greet now. It's only a really, really tiny suburb. It's right in the water, but um, when I house it there, I'll have to do a vlog and show you around. That was nice. It was a really nice lady, and then two nice dogs Australian cobber dogs which are they're like labradoodles but they're uh, they've become like a specific breed they're not interbred anyway they were very nice I'm just gonna have a little look around Cottage Point now and show you there's only a few roads here it's very very small so far my head. Um, I'm just walking down a little public footpath to the water um, I'll show you where I'm going I didn't realise that path led down to the inn. It's nice, I've been there once before. You can hire boats from there as well. You don't need a licence or anything. They've got different types of boats you can hire out and go down the creek on. It's very pretty. I had that before. Right on the water's edge with a Rottweiler. <laughs> oh yeah, I missed the massive sign. <laughs> There's the stairs. There's another place here, Cottage Point Kiosk, I think. Looks nice. I'm just feeding some cats in Bayview now. I'll take the camera and show you the view from this house. It's really nice. Um, and then I've just got to go and visit some dogs and then I'm going home and it's dinner time. That was weird. They'd left a key for me. It didn't work in the front door at all. And I tried and tried and tried. And then I noticed there was another set of keys stuck in the key lock on the inside of the door, which was probably blocking me. And then thankfully I found another door there was a door in the garage that led into an apartment and that went down into the house so <laughs> I'm feeding these people's cats while they're on holiday by the way so they've just gone on holiday left me a key to get into the house that doesn't work at all <laughs> I tried it once I got in I tried it in the front door and it's not the right key <laughs> and then they've just left the whole house open and like the patio door open for the cat to come in and out it's bizarre people just leave their doors unlocked here sometimes but it's a really nice house and <laughs> it's just open here's a strange situation <laughs> These lovely dogs. This is really bad garden. Really bad garden. Hello. You ready for your dinners? You ready for your dinners? <laughs> Back with little Willow. I've got so many smells on me. Dogs and cats. I'm covered in the mono Willow. I'm covered in smells. Goodness me. That wasn't very much fun. The border collie just grabbed my leg and just humped it the whole time I was there but like really hard like he dug his claws in my leg I think if I hadn't had jeans on he probably would have ripped my skin I couldn't get him off me the neighbours were in the garden I was just like get down get down so I didn't stay and play I think I'd be on the floor goodness me that wasn't much fun 
Um, I hope that dies down next time I go over. They've got frogs as well in a in a little tank that I've got to feed every few days. I've got to feed them live crickets, but they just pick up like a bit of cardboard on some pincers that's covered in them and then just drop it in. That's definitely the weirdest thing I've ever had to do. Hi Willow, you don't eat live crickets. Yeah, you just eat treats. You just want treats all day long. Yeah, yeah. you're a good girl. You're a good little girl. Check that out. What a beautiful sunset. Right, I'm gonna watch the rest of the sunset and then go and watch the new season of Emily in Paris. Hi, it's the 23rd today, so Christmas Eve tomorrow. I'm in the middle of my busy pet schedule now, so I fed lots of cats and dogs this morning, gave some frogs some water standard Christmas for me um, and now I'm just off out to oh Willow don't move the pillow Willow's banging the pillow so now I'm off to see the rampant border collie that will not stop humping my legs so that's gonna be really good fun isn't it um, and tomorrow I've got to feed the crickets to the frogs oh my gosh wow <laughs> and some cats to feed as well um, and I just tried to wrap some Christmas presents and realized I don't have any sticky tape so <laughs> I don't carry that around with me house sitting I do have some but it's in my storage unit so I might have to go and get it <laughs> I had a look here and they had a box with wrapping paper and cards and all that in but I just couldn't see any sticky tape anywhere I've had a little look around but <laughs> it's so annoying I don't have long Christmas Eve tomorrow anyway right gotta go and see that rampant border collie cracker of a sunset another one it's christmas eve now it's the evening done all my pet visits and all that fed live crickets to the frogs that was interesting i dropped some as well so they're just like loose in the house now <laughs> i have to tell the owners when they get back <laughs> never mind um yeah worked out how to deal with the uh the rampant border collie he only does it to my leg after he's just eaten so i just put the food down and then just run <laughs> and then i'm safe yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a nice few days, lovely weather, nice and hot summery weather now. Um, tomorrow, I haven't got too many pet visits on, just a few. And then I'm going to my friend's house for lunch, so I'll spend the afternoon there. And yeah, that's it. So I'll be back after Christmas, or maybe back after the new year. Just made a pizza. Well, I buy the bases and then I put all the topping on, so I'm going to sit here and eat that and watch the view. Hopefully no mosquitoes will come out. I don't think I've been bitten yet this year. I will see you in the new year. Have a great Christmas.